So I had mentioned earlier when I was showing the trace of my dog that I should have removed the background. And you can do that right in the trace window and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So I'm going to open my trace window. I'm going to make sure that this is set to 255 all the way up. And then I'll zoom in some. <clears throat> and I'm going to choose edit mode, draw mask and I'll probably have that at two. And then I'm gonna set this to background. And I'm gonna just left click and draw around my dog as quickly as I can. Now I'm not gonna worry about all of his hair here. And then when I continue I want to make sure that I start back inside this um, trace that I've already done and I'll update the preview and then I will come around him here and you know you can be more precise than what I'm being I'm just trying to get this done quickly and as painlessly as possible for you. Oh, now see, I let go of my mouse and I clicked again, and if I update preview, you're going to see that I have this little dot here. So let me zoom in. Now I can either erase that or I can go ahead and just trace over it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start back in here and I'm going to make sure that I connect that and then come around and update preview and see nope I missed it so now I can go to mask foreground and zoom in even further and I can go ahead and erase that now you're gonna see a color difference but that doesn't matter that's just on the mask it's not going to show in the photo and let me zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm tracing here all right, I'll start, oh, I need to be in background. I'll start this back inside here and continue along. And I'll update the preview. Zoom out a little more. Uh, continue inside here. And come up here. And I went a little too far out, didn't I? See, I can't see my image very well. I'm zoomed in too far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and raise this up and come back to foreground and erase this here. And hit update preview. Okay. And then I can go back to background and lower this back down to two. And hit enter. There we go. And then trace around him here. Hit update. Continue along here. Hit update. Start inside here again and end inside there and hit update. Now I can zoom out and you can see that I have a trace around him. I also have this trace but that's okay I can get rid of that and I'm going to show you how. So I'll go ahead and accept that and then I'm going to right click and break apart and then I can select this outside frame and delete it. And then this is what I'm left with which is the trace that will cut. Now I'm going to come over here to my style panel and make sure this is set to print plus cut cut because this is going to be a print and cut project and I want it to cut around the print. So then I need to select my image here and make sure that that's print and cut print. Okay? Or print plus cut print. 
and then I can go ahead and delete this one. And I can, if I want to, just arrange this to the front. And when I select it and I preview my cut lines, you'll see that they're still there, obviously, because I didn't delete them. Okay, so I said that I would show you um, how to do that, and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.